The first step is we need to print our background for our B. So our background is going to be a blue, and I got my full paper that we're going to be printing. You're first going to take a paintbrush, dip it into your blue paint, and do like two blobs of paint. Okay, then I'll just set my paintbrush down. I might just set it down here. And then you need a glob of some white to make a lighter blue. Okay, and I don't want to set it on the blue paint, so I'm going to set it right next to it. You can kind of decide how much white you need, but you can't use too much. So I did two, lo two little globs. And I'm going to set my white brush down. I don't want to get paint mixed, so I don't want to put blue paint on my white brush. Then I'm going to take what's called a brayer. It's a roller, and I'm going to roll this around to mix it. So I'm going to mix the paint just all over what's called a jelly plate. And you get to kind of decide how you want it to look. I think it looks kind of cool when it's not like all the way mixed, so I'm just going to stop there. You have to be kind of quick with it, otherwise the paint will start to dry and then it will get stuck on to your paper and your paper might rip. Then I'm going to use a stencil. So I got these texture plates. Um, they are going to make some detail in here. So I'm going to take one and you're just going to press it down into the paint and peel it off. So then it's going to be on here. But then you will take your paper and it is way too big. So I'm going to have to print this twice. So I'm going to do half of my paper. So I got half here. Then I'm going to Take it and press down and you're going to quickly rub. Then you'll peel it off. And there we have it on half. Now we need to do the rest. So I'm going to do this one more time. I probably can just use the paint that's still on here and just roll it around. And then I think I probably need a little bit more. So I'm going to get some more blue. And then some more white. And then roll this around. Set my brayer down. Use the stencil again. Press it into there. Okay. Now I'll take my other side of my paper. So I got this side needs to be blue. I'm going to flip it over and rub it down. Peel it off. Okay, and if most of my paper is blue, I've done it right. I can like fill in these white spots. So I have some white spots over here. There's still some paint on here. So I can put my white spot down and press, and then it's gonna start kind of covering those areas. All right, so most of my paper is blue. I did it right. Now I'm ready to print my yellow for my bee. So I'm going to take my small paper and I'm going to go where the yellow is and we're going to print make it. So we're going to add like two globs of the yellow to our jelly plate. I'll set my brush aside. Then I'm taking my roller, the brayer, and rolling it around on the jelly plate. Okay, I'll set my brayer to the side, and now I'm going to take my texture plates, and I'm going to add a design, peel it up, then I'll take my paper, and I have to make sure I'm seeing my name, and then we're going to place it down and then rub it around. So this will be for our yellow body for our B. Thank you. 
Okay, and if most of my paper is yellow, I am good, and I can stop right there and put them on the drying rack. So here is an example of how our printmaking bee is going to look at the end. We're going to first start by making a yellow oval. So with your yellow paper, I'm going to flip it over to the back, and you're going to draw a yellow or an oval. So a big oval. I'm going to try and fill it like most of the paper. And then you are going to cut it out with your scissors. After it's cut out, we are going to make now stripes for our bee. So we will get this black rectangle paper. You're going to take your scissors and we're going to be cutting just strips for the stripes. So you're going to start over here and cut just long rectangles. Then I got four out of that, but you can decide how many you want. We are going to take our glue, add glue to the back sides of these, and then put them on the lower half of our oval. So I'm going to leave some space up here that's going to stay all yellow. You could also just add a stripe right here. And then stick it on top of your glue. All right, then we got all this extra paper on the sides, which makes it look kind of weird. So I'm just going to flip this over and take my scissors and cut off all the extra black strips. So that way it looks really nice. Okay. Now I am ready to start adding like wings and eyeballs and the little antenna. So I think I'm first going to do the wings. So you need two white pieces of paper and we're going to draw the wings. So all they are are like ovals or circles. So I'm just going to start here and do just like a big oval because that looks like a nice wing. Then we're going to cut it out and I have both of my papers stacked on top of each other just like this. So then when I'm cutting, they're going to be the exact same, and it saves some time. So now I got my two wings. I'm going to flip it over so I don't see my little crayon marks. And I'm going to add some glue and stick it behind. And on the opposite side, I want it to kind of line up. Okay, now I'm ready to glue my entire bee to the paper. So you're going to kind of pick where would you like your bee to go on here. And we're going to add glue all the way to the back. So tons of glue on our back of our papers. And then stick it down and then rub it to kind of smooth it out. Okay, now I'm going to take a black small piece of paper and I'm going to cut my stinger. So my stinger is just a triangle. So I'm going to take my scissors and cut kind of at an angle right here. 
Then I will take, go on the other side and cut. And then now I cut a triangle. So I'm ready to glue that to my bottom and I'm gonna just kind of sneak it under here. So I'm gonna add glue to the back. And then on my paper, I'm gonna tuck it in and then press down. Okay, next is our eyeballs. So I need two papers for this. And we're gonna draw just some circles. So with my paper, I'm gonna draw a nice big circle or however big you want your eyes to be. And then I'm gonna do that trick again where I'm holding both papers and I'm using my scissors to cut around on my circle. So what I like to do, I'm just twisting my paper when I'm cutting and that's the easiest way for me to cut. So I just twist this paper. Okay, now I got two circles and I'm gonna add some glue. And they're gonna go on the top. Press those down. Okay, now the rest we're just using crayons to color. So for my eyes, I can add a pupil. So that's just a little circle inside of them. If you wanna add eyelashes, you can. So little curves by the eyes. Okay, we can also add an antenna. So from the top and you curve around and on this side, top and curve. Then I can add a smile to my bee and make it super happy. And you can add some lines in the wing. So I do a straight line and then from it, I do little diagonal lines. Well, on this side, I'll do the same, a straight line, and then some diagonal lines. Okay, then if you wanted to, you could add some little blush with a pink, but you don't have to either. Okay, and then our B is all finished.